Hello, and welcome to this presentation of Odoo, brought to you by Confiance, a gold partner. Today, we will be discussing the CRM module and how it will benefit you and your business. For this, we will be acting as a furniture manufacturer, leading you through the processes that they would take in their day-to-day -day usage. Let's begin. When you first sign on to Odoo, the Odoo dashboard is the first screen you are presented with. In the top right hand corner, you can see the activities listed for the day and any conversations that you have missed. Based upon your rights as a user will be the modules listed here. An administrator would see all modules for the company, while a manager would only see their department and a floor user would only see the individual modules that they need to accomplish their task. The module CRM is the module we're covering today, but if you are an administrator or a manager, and you have many modules and need to find one on the fly, you can simply type it in as CRM and it appears here. Now we will go ahead and select it. When first opening the CRM module, you are presented with the pipeline. Here you will see stages of your company and the opportunities as they are progressing through them. Creating a new stage is as easy as hitting the plus sign. We'll go ahead and type in verify, add, and as you can see, quickly drag and drop it into place. Here we have one of the opportunities and moving one of the opportunities is as easy as dragging and dropping it as well. It also carries over the value of said opportunity, but we all know an activity would be needed to move over. So you can always set a quick activity. We'll say call test We'll go ahead and schedule this. Let's open that one. We'll go ahead and mark it as done. We'll say it was great feedback. And as you can see, it also lists it here in the tracker. Here you can also see the email and contact information of the opportunity. Here you can also see the stages of the pipeline, which we're going to go ahead and use and move it in to verify from that call. Going back to the main view, you can also see it's been moved over here. But the main thing that you would want to start with for the day is in leads. Once here, you will see a list view of all leads that have come in via either your website, via email, via any source generating leads for your company that you can export in an Excel file, you can import them here, or any that your sales team have created themselves via this. We'll show you the creation process next. When creating a new lead, you will come to this page. Here you will be able to enter in the description of the lead and what they are looking for, the company name, the address information, their website, the salesperson that you wish to assign, the sales team that you wish to assign, the contact information of the lead, and all their contact information the priority that you wish to set for this lead, and any tags that you wish to set this lead, which will help it to be able to be searchable in the Odoo system. Here we can see an opportunity that came in through our website. As you can see, it went with the salesperson Odoo bot because that is our representative for our website. We're gonna go ahead and edit that. Change it to my admin. We're also gonna give it the tag chairs. And while not currently in the system, we can quickly create it. And then any other opportunity or lead that comes in requesting chairs will also be in the system that we can just quickly add it. Go ahead and save that. As you can see, it marked me as the one changing the things. From here, we're going to convert it into an opportunity. Create a new customer. And because it came in through our website, it went in straight to proposition. We're going to go ahead and set up an activity for a call. And schedule it. Go back to our CRM page. And as you can see, it's listed here for 600 chairs. When needing to find one of your tagged labels, all you have to do is come up here and type search. Type in your tag. 
and there's the one that we created. Label with chairs. Other than the Kanban view that we have been working in, you also have the list view, which just gives a list version of the Kanban view, the calendar view for keeping up with your schedules. We also have the pivot view, the graph view, which comes with many different graphs to break down what you were looking at, the cohort view, the activities view, and the dashboard view. The dashboard view bringing in almost all the other views together. Also, just like with graph, you can break out the different graphs here as well, and by what type. Now that we covered lead creation and how to turn it into an opportunity, and we've covered the different views of the debt pipeline, what if a call comes in directly? Well, we can go ahead and create an opportunity right off the bat. We'll say 50 chairs. from an existing customer who are expanding. And after getting off the phone with them, we agreed to $2,000. Probability is very high because I just got off the phone with them and they need them now. I'm gonna go ahead and add that. We'll go ahead and move it into proposition because we're not gonna need to wait around on this one and verify if it's true. And we're going to go ahead and send them a new quotation. Here we have the quotation page. As you can see, you can enter in all the information about the customer, choose a quotation template, the validity or the payment details, delivery method. Here you can set in what products. So we'll go ahead and add 50 chairs. Go ahead and type in chairs. quantity of the order is 50 as it was $2,000 that we had agreed on unit price will be $40 each delivery lead time we'll go ahead and set it out for five days and we're going to go ahead and save and close As you can see, you have the description of chairs, order quantity, unit picked, the taxes set in, subtotal, and the complete total. Next, we'll go ahead and send by email. As you can see, it has the recipient's name, subject line, greeting message, and the PDF of the actual quotation. We'll go ahead and send that. And as you can see, it saves it in the history of who made the quotation, sent it out, and that it was sent out. Next, we will confirm. And save. Returning to our pipeline now, if you wanted to see other quotations, you can simply click on sales and go to my quotations. Here you can see all quotations that you have. Let's select one. And as you can see, it will show all details about that quotation, where it's standing on its timesheet, project overview, and the task completed and left to do and be able to create an invoice from here and send it to the customer. Let's go ahead and create that. As you can see, it asks you, what do you want to invoice? Your options are invoiceable lines, invoiceable lines, deduct down payments, down payments percentage, down payments fixed amount. We're gonna go with the first line, create new invoice. And as you can see, it lists it here under invoices. We'll go ahead and click that. Here's a copy of the invoice. We we'll go ahead and validate it.
and to give a full preview. And here we see the page that our customers would receive of the invoice. Go ahead and return back now. This concludes our video over the CRM module of Odoo. Thank you for joining Confiance in this presentation, and join us again next time when we cover sales. Have a wonderful day.